Hi guys, I'm on vacation, so forgive the audio quality. I'm, uh, I'm not sure if this is gonna sound okay. I get a lot of messaging from salon owners who basically say to me all the time that they, they say the same thing that I say and their team doesn't seem to listen. Understand this, guys. Um, just because I'm out here talking to you about how to be successful doesn't mean that I have this incredibly successful team around me. I have some people around me that do extremely well, but I also have a lot of people that, in my opinion, underperform. And I, I feel like um, a lot of what I do when I speak about how to be a successful hairdresser is kind of therapy for me, and I work out a lot of my stuff um, through you, my audience, or if I'm doing a hair show or something like that, or if I'm speaking, like tomorrow I'm going to be speaking to several hundred students um, at, a, uh, at a Paul Mitchell school here in California. And a lot of what I do when I work this stuff out is kind of like therapeutic for me because I have the exact same frustrations that, that salon owners have. And, I, and I've, you know, I've had the same frustrations that stylists and assistants have had because I've walked in all of those paths at some point in my life. Um, the point of what I'm trying to say is understand that you're never really appreciated at home and no one listens. I shouldn't say nobody. Most of your team isn't necessarily going to be listening to you at home. Anytime I walk in and I start talking about the stuff that I talk to you guys about, I'm sure half the room is rolling their eyes going, oh, here he goes again, talking that nonsense or, or that kind of stuff. Because the message has to generally has to be heard from somebody else. I just got an email from a very, very famous hairdresser who I look up to, who I would love to have to come into my salon and talk to my team. I just got a message from him that he wants me to come in and talk to his team. And this is the thing, I can go into most salons and talk to their team and they'll be really, really inspired. And the owners will say to me afterwards, it's like I've been saying the same thing to them so long and for some reason it worked when you said it. You have to go away from home to be appreciated. Uh, it, it's uh, what did Robert Chromian say? A platform artist is just a hairdresser from out of town, right? If I do something in Vancouver, nobody cares, nobody listens, nobody shows up. But when I go away, all of a sudden I draw really, really, really well because uh, you know it's a fresh voice, and that's really what it's about. So, owners, don't hesitate to bring people in to convey the exact same message that you convey. Very often, when I reach out to, or when I've booked an event through a salon. I will reach out to the owner and say, what is it that you really want me to touch on? Because I mean, we all have the same issues. We all have the same concerns as salon owners, but I want to talk to them and say, what message is it that you're trying to convey to your team that you feel you're struggling with? Because then I will try to hit that same message because it's really helpful. And, and I'm the same way. If, if I'm bringing somebody into my salon, I want them to, to pass on a similar message to me. And let's face it, here's what the messages are that we all want as salon owners. Salon owners. This, this is what we all want our team to do. We want them to show up rested early for their shift, looking like a million bucks. We want them to be super present um, and excited and, and happy to be at work and inspired every single day to work on their clients. We want them to style and give styling lessons like a maniac. We want them to retail because of their enthusiasm, because of their high energy, because of their passion for the work and the styling lesson they've given, not because we want them to say, you need to buy the shampoo. Really, you're using head and shoulders? Oh, that's garbage. I can't believe you're using that stuff. That's terrible. I'm not into shaming people. I'm into like, if what, if what you're using works, awesome, that's amazing. If, if you're getting the results you want, amazing. You go with the Perk Plus, you go with the Suave. I don't care. I mean, we're not into pushing products. What we're into doing is solving problems in our salon. So all of these things kind of go hand in hand with a present happy hairdresser that is focused on giving their clients better hair. And that's the message that I usually want people to, to convey in my, in my company. Maybe, you know, to understand that the grass isn't greener. That's a, that's a really, really big one. The grass isn't greener, guys. Um, I love this saying, the grass isn't greener on the other side of the fence, it's greener where you water it. And that is so true. I'll tell you this, this is, a, this is a fact, and I've seen it from people who have left my company. The second people leave my salon to go work somewhere else, the first thing they do is start doing all the stuff that I told them to do all through their employment that they weren't doing. All of a sudden, they're like, oh shit, now I gotta work, now I gotta do all that stuff. And they start doing the exact same stuff that I've been telling them to do. And if they had just done it when working for me, they could have given themselves a 30% raise within a year guaranteed. And then they would have been like, oh, all of a sudden I'm making money. I just heard the craziest thing from an employee the other day that I've ever heard 
that I've heard in years. And it was a seven, an average $7,000 a month employee that was saying to me, she couldn't figure out how she could make more money. She's like, I, I'm already working really hard. I'm kind of doing everything that I should be doing. And, and, and without pulling my hair out by being so quadruple booked, I don't know how I could make more money. And in my head, I'm like, I have somebody who's worked for me half your, half your length of employment who, who made almost double what you make doing the exact same job. And she's not pulling her hair out, working four days a week. We can do that. We can put you on that path. But again, my voice, who that person's been listening to for five years, doesn't, it's, it's what I say falls on deaf ears. If I bring somebody else in, all my, my team are going to be going, aha, oh my God, that guy's so brilliant. I'm like, shit, I've been saying the same thing to you guys for so long. So anyways, owners, don't hesitate to bring somebody into to your salon to convey your message. Um, it, people need to hear things several times from different sources in order for the message to get through. And don't be offended if all of a sudden what somebody else says connects when you've been saying the exact same thing. Because we all say the exact same thing. We all want the same thing. We want our employees to do really, really well and then it trickles back to us. That's simply all it is. And hairdressers, for God's sakes, listen to your employers. Your employers are not trying to do anything but help you make more money and be happy in your life. Because that's what we want is long-term employees who are making an incredible living and who are happy. That's what we want for you because it'll come back to us once that happens for you. So that's what our priority is to make you that person. So don't think we're out to like, you know, beat you over the head with the retail stick or, or that kind of stuff. This is all for your benefit. Some owners perhaps don't have the best approach, but you know what? If you were to ask my employees, I have all these followers and people who say, oh my God, this is so brilliant. Thank you for saying that, Michael. It's like, I have a bunch of people in my staff who think that I'm beating them over the head with this message too. So again, don't hesitate to bring somebody else into your salon to convey your message. Guest artists, guest speakers are the most important thing that you can do.